Hey guys, okay, I was just checking my light. All right, so today I've got a foundation video for you. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Compact Makeup with Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 55 Helioplex. I don't know what that means at all, but it's got sunscreen in it, SPF 55, which is um, pretty high. Um, but the thing is, is it says helps prevent sunburn if used as directed with other sun protection measures. So if you're considering using your foundation as your sunscreen, um, this probably won't do it. Um, you have to use it in conjunction with other sunscreen measures. So just want to throw that out there. Um, I haven't done any research on this at all, but based on what it's saying, that's what they're saying. Um, so uh, if that interests you, I don't really care about that, but if that interests you, then you might want to do some more research on that. Okay, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and like. Every time you hit the like, um, the thumbs up button, that helps out my channel. So I would appreciate it so much if you would hit the like button and if you would subscribe. All right, if you're new here, um, I primarily review foundations and concealers because those are the two things that I think um, people will benefit most from. That's just my opinion. Um, especially since I've got a ton of pigmentation and stuff to cover up, that's something that I that I'm I myself am interested in and think other people would be interested in it as well. Um, so get all those formalities out of the way. Let's go ahead and say, I haven't heard anything about this. I haven't heard anybody talk about this. This is compact makeup, so it's in obviously a compact. Let me see if I can get this open. There is the foundation here. There's a mirror and um, it looks as though, yep, there's a little sponge as well. The sponge feels soft. Um, I just don't know if I would use it. Why don't I just go ahead and use it today? I've got I have a sponge and a brush today. So I've got my Real Technique sponge. I have a new brush that I'm trying today. And then of course this sponge. This is obviously dry. This one is dampened. And this one is clean. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start off on this side. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use a brush because that's probably what I would normally do. This is a basically just a cream foundation. It's like using a stick foundation, except for it's in a cream in a compact format. So um, I find that a lot of times creams need to be buffed in. So I'm just gonna pick some up on my brush. Um, this brush is shedding already, by the way. This is a new brush. So okay, can you see this? It's wanting to bunch up a little bit right there. So not a great first impression. This is, by the way, this is the lightest shade, which was classic ivory 10. Oh, this is shedding a ton. There's a ton of bristles coming out of this brush. Okay, you can get a little bit of a idea of the coverage on my dark circles. This brush is really nice and soft. It's not that dense. Um, I'm going to talk about this brush in another video. But since you guys don't know what it is, um, I'm just going to give you a description of it so you'll know how I'm using the product. Alright, this is a little bit um, light reflective, like luminous a little bit. So far the shade looks okay. Um, and the coverage I would give probably, oh... I would give it medium coverage pretty much, but under here it's pretty light. I mean, I can still really see everything. Um, and I've got a spot right there that's not really covering up. It's giving me a really good even skin tone with a natural finish. Um, it's actually looking pretty glowy. I don't know if you can see. The shade looks really good too, so um, I'm surprised about that. Oh, did I mention this is Neutrogena? Yeah, this is Neutrogena, which I really don't hear people talking about very often. All right, so just as a first impression and just looking at it like in my mirror, this is really nice. It looks like um, a really 
um, natural looking makeup that's going to even your skin out. It's not going to give you a ton of coverage, but it's going to even your skin out real nice, make you look like you're really not wearing very much makeup. Let's get an up close look. Okay. Um, what I am seeing on my skin though is that it's sliding around a little bit. transferring a teeny weeny 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 tiny bit but it's really like sliding around I don't know if I, I uh, before I came out here to film this I uh, put a mask oh and it's it's gunking up right in my pores I don't know if you can see that like it's not smoothing them over it's just gunking them up I did a mask before I came and I moisturized my skin really well so I don't know if it's if the foundation just doesn't want to sit on top of the, that um, moisturizer. It's the same moisturizer I always use, but I did apply it a bit more recently, so. Okay, so one of the strikes against this is that it's sticking in my pores and making that make, making it look like not good. <laughs> Looks like I've got a, just a bunch of gunked makeup stuck in my pores, which I don't think anybody ever wants. I'm going to go ahead and try the sponge on the other side, um, and we'll just see. Um, I'm not one of those people that really just stipples a foundation in or on top of my skin. I don't just tap it on. I want to work it into my skin so that it's not like a thick, heavy layer of foundation. And if I need more coverage or whatever, then sometimes I'll put a little bit more, but I always build up very slowly, layer by layer, thin, very thin layer by layer. So what you're seeing here is not a lot of product. Um, I've used, you know, that much. It's not much. I'm not getting a ton of product and smearing it all on. and. just having a lot of product right off the bat. Okay, let me get a close-up look. This mirror is really nice though, yeah, so I would have to say that um, the sponge side feels like there's barely any product even getting on there. I'm gonna go ahead and build up a little tiny bit with this brush. Yeah, if you want fuller coverage, I would go with the brush but it's kind of smearing around like it doesn't really look like it's just sitting on top of your skin but it kind of almost is um, because when I when I keep trying to blend over a, an area the foundation you see that it just smeared right down it's not it's like sliding off of my skin almost it's not uh, blending into my skin it's wanting to just smear around. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, put a little bit more and see if it's a good, um, building foundation, like if it builds up. I don't, there, I don't think there were any claims. No, there's no claims on this. It just says, with sunscreen. Oh, oh, it's burning my eyes too. Like, oh, that was not a good idea. Oh, it might be that sunscreen is like, I do this all the time. I always do my foundation like this. I'm not very careful around my eyes with every foundation I use. And that one is like, you can, I don't know if you can see it's all red and watery. My eyes are very sensitive to foundations anyway but this is probably the most sensitive that it's ever been just right off the bat so this that might be a bad sign <laughs> all right and I will wear this for the rest of the day I'll update my thoughts in the description below but here's a good close-up look um first impression thoughts on this um I, I'm I'll have to try it again um and I always do that I usually try these foundations at least over a day and then if I still can't make up my mind then I'll do it for another day and usually 
that's a pretty good I can get a pretty good idea of whether or not it's a good foundation I don't use any kind of primers pore filling primers or anything like that it's usually just moisturized clean moisturized skin when I put makeup on um, so um, that's the kind of review that I'm going to be doing with this. So anyway, um, <clears throat> biggest strike against it is that it's not really blending in. It's kind of smearing around on top and it's filling in my pores, like looking like a big bunch of gunk inside my pores. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's not, that's not a good look. So, but anyway, I will wear this for the rest of the day. I will update my thoughts in the, in the uh, description or even in the comments. Sometimes I do either one. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.